It is time for... Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about this old school Sony Ericsson telephone. But we're not going to call somebody. We're going to make it our personal portable ultimate retro emulation machine. Stay tuned. So this is what we are going to get. Some headphones. So if you're using these, they come come in handy. Let's see, what are they? Oh, are they serious original ones? Yeah, they were. Yeah, <laughs> funny. But yeah, it's this is what I'm. This is what I wanted to show you. The system itself. It's an old refurbished Sony Ericsson telephone. You can use it like a phone if you want, but this is not the point that I bought it. It's more like a clone of the PSP Go, and yes, it runs on Android, so we can add our own games and programs. There is a little catch. But first, I'm going to give you a little tour of the system. So let's take a close look at the controls. There are no analog stick uh, of analog sticks, so it is a little bit of a bummer. But we have in here a D-pad, and I can tell you already, this thing feels very nice. It's an official Sony product, so this is not a knockoff or a bootleg system from China. If you slide it, you have your action buttons. These come in handy if you're using some programs or emulators. And at the back, we're finding nothing. And on the top, we're finding two trigger buttons. Volume control. And here we have the power button. So let's remove the screen protector. So yeah, my first thought about this thing is um, it's a very nice quality product. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because I think it's a really awesome and fun idea to have a product like this if you want to play some retro games. As you can see here already, there is a Crash Bandicoot here on the desktop. There are some games pre-installed or some of them you need to download. I don't have any internet connection, so I cannot download it. But I can already tell you, if you put the connection online, um, the weird thing is you're going to uh, the PlayStation Pocket. It only containing one game. The PlayStation Pocket, if you try to go to the store, if you want to have more games, you're getting the uh, message that this is not for your region. So that is a little bit weird. So another thing is, if you open it up, it's going to load up Xperia, Xperia Play Games. There are some games, um, some of them need to be downloaded. But as you can see here, there are already some emulators that I installed on the system. There is another thing that you need to consider before buying this product. If you want to use the App Store, it's not going to get launched. Um, the reason why is very simple. It is running on a very, very old Android system. So that is a little bit of a bummer. So every time you try to get on the market, it will not load. So you cannot reach the market. I've tried it a couple of times, but there is another way of installing games. If you like, I can make a tutorial or a little video about it. But for now, we're going to focus on the power of the machine and what can you do with it. So let's play some games and I'm going to show you how are they running. The first thing that I'm noticing with this thing, the sound is very good. You cannot compare this with a Chinese knockoff console. And as you can see, and as you can hear, the emulation of the Android or the yeah, with the Android app on this old mobile phone is, I can say it's perfect. 
The controls feel very responsive and I can really enjoy these old games. The screen is very colorful, vibrant. I can really show you a little bit. It has an extremely good view angle. Crash Bandicoot can be downloaded if you like. Um, I'm just using it with the emulator uh, because I wanted to show you how the game is running. Because yeah, it's cool that you can download the game, but but it's a little bit useless because you cannot play other games. Sometimes you hear a little slowdown. I did some tweaking with the emulator. Um, I don't know if it's the problem of the system that it doesn't have the performance to run the game perfectly but it's playable I sometimes have the idea it's more like a sound issue than a graphical issue because the game runs really smooth If you put the device on widescreen mode, sometimes I'm noticing some lag, or even more lag, so... Round one, fight. But it doesn't matter, because the game runs like shit. Maybe with some tweaking you can get some little bit more or better experience or performance with this game, but... Ugh. And what you can hear, the sound is just great. The game is running fine. And like Tekken, it's one freaking nightmare.
I take it back. If you look at the emulation speed, it's very nice. It's more like, again, like Crash Bandicoot and sound a problem. Because the game is running smooth, we've got some frame drops. Oh, and now it's getting better. So, for the final conclusion about this telephone slash portable system. It has potential, it's a very nice quality product, so you cannot compare this with a knockoff system that you can buy everywhere. So, you need to have, yeah, let's pay a little bit of experience with Android, you need to find another way of installing programs because the official store is not working anymore. more. The PlayStation games are not running perfectly, there's a little bit of a bummer, but the other old games like NES, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive work just fine, if you find the right programs for it. So yeah, that concludes a little bit of review. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell and see you next time. Bye bye.